Imagine traveling underwater from Dubai to Mumbai in just two hours. This isn't a sci-fi movie, it's Dubai's $100 billion bet. Into the world's largest underwater tunnel stretching 1,200 miles under the Arabian Sea, where trains rocket at 1,000 kilometers per hour, creating explosive economic impact. But why even build something so extreme? Well, that's exactly what people said when they first heard about the Burj Khalifa or the Palm Jumeirah. And yet Dubai built them anyway. But this time, it isn't just about ambition. It's about strategy. India is already Dubai's largest trade partner with over $85 billion exchanged every year. But India still leans heavily on Russian oil, something that's brought crippling tariffs from the US. But a direct tunnel changes everything. It gives Dubai the power to pump oil straight into India, while fresh water flows back into Dubai, a win on both sides. But the journey will not be easy. Easy. The tunnel must survive ocean pressure that crushes steel like paper, where salt eats everything it touches. And yet if someone can pull it off, it's Dubai. Because if history proves anything, the impossible is exactly where Dubai begins. If it rises by 2030, this won't just be a tunnel, it will be the start of an underwater highway. A lifeline of oil, water and culture, where two nations redraw the map of the future. 